Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're back in the Sogwood Forest, ignoring the minigames for now because they're mostly touch-based and I don't have that set up right now and yeah, I'd rather have them all in like one part for the sake of organization. Um, four Dash Shoes secret level. Well, I should say the secret level that is unlocked via a secret in 4-2. Not unlocked right now because I don't have the means to do so. I don't have the move to do so. So I'm going to have to skip 4-5 and go over to 4-6. So, here we go. Secret 2. Two chests left. Let's see if we can find them, shall we? Ah, oh, bubbles! Diagonal bubbles this time! Diagonal bubbles all over the place! I think the diagonal bubbles are actually easier to navigate than the uh, vertical bubbles, in all honesty, because you can fly into them at angles, and it, it, it's almost like... Um, I mean, actually, you can jump out of the water to them at angles, and it's almost like you're in water constantly with the way that it's set up like that, because they'll always, always cross over your path, and you just simply star spin your way into them, like so. Like, with the vertical bubbles, there's not always a bubble there, but... With bubbles going sideways, well, there's going to be a good chance of a bubble being there. Uh, wait, isn't... Uh, I think I'm, I was close to the chest. But yeah, 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 he's shaking, he's shaking. Where is the chest? Where is the chest? Gotta get the chest. Where... Where is it? Where is it? I gotta get the chest. <laughs> he's like, he's all excited around here. Is it up around? Is it up on the ledge on the other side? No, it is shaking more here. Did I miss a corner? Oh, I see. Yep, there, right there. I goofed. Just go right through there. There we go. I didn't notice that. Mo's diary. And coincidentally, I said that in Mo's voice. <laughs> you know, this has been one crazy time. This kid falls through the sky one day, and he has these strange powers of transformation. What? In that helmet? There's something that pe that's something that people wear when they're from outer space. I wonder. Nah. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous too. I think so. I mean, bro, oh, anyway, let's just move on from that and forget that. And just go up through the bubbles of Diagonalis. How do they even fly this way anyway? Is it like a strong breeze going on? And even so, I'm not sure a strong breeze would be able to control bubbles of this size. Maybe I shouldn't question the game logic and physics because, you know, we've already got floating water. But that, that's enough right there. <laughs> so let's just keep moving on with the groove on and look for secrets, if at all possible. Looks like we've reached a dead end every which way. And you notice the bubbles do push you back when they're at this uh, angle, but it's not that big of a deal because you can still um, dash forward and whatnot through them. Um, side route. Will you have a chest? Maybe. Probably. I bet that I bet the chest is in that uh, spot up there. No, maybe not. I thought I figured uh, if I was getting closer, Moe's sniffer would be a little bit more excited. It gets all jittery when you're near it. Or like, yeah. <laughs> That's my interpretation of most sniff, uh, sniffer. <clears throat> uh, anyway, let's look around. New pearl spite. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Nope, let me get. There we go. Come on. There we go. Give me those pearls. It always seems like they only have enough pearls for uh, two spins, and then they just destroy, yeah. <laughs> like, the next time you hit them, they just, woo, gone. I don't think, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's not a chest, but that's pretty nice. Uh, okay, it's, it's vibrating. There it is, hard gem. And, of course, we're going to go back over to Mo. Okay. Going on. Uh, I can't go up there, obviously. Unless bubbles are flying, though. <laughs> Long jump. For the win. Oh, no! Slipping off. For the loss. Wait, how do I get... Let me... There we go. Because I sunk down the acorn a little bit when I jumped on it. Nothing down there. Okay. 
That's fine, Cribbits. You're fine. Actually, you're not. But, I mean, you're fine to me. You don't really cause that much damage. <laughs> I don't think I've gotten hit by one grip it. I could be wrong though. Like maybe I wasn't paying attention and I got hit by one somewhere in there, but I don't think I did. Grippets are pretty predictable enemies. They just got that uh, stretchy tongue. Uh, but if you're spinning, it's not gonna do anything to you anyway, so yeah. <laughs> oh, dang you. Oh, that's the end of the stage. Alright, obviously that's way too short of a part, so I'm gonna go ahead over to uh, the other secret level and clear that one out. So, here we go, 4-7, two chests to find. Secret 3, go, 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 go! Um, what do we have here? I'm trying to remember what level this is. Uh, <laughs> Ow! I slid. <laughs> Xbox controller. Okay, I gotta reposition my hand, there we go. Doesn't take much to reposition your hand, but it's really easy to get back. I mean, get your hand back to where it, like, in a more habitual location, like where you're more used to it, so to speak. Um, hello there. Is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Could it be? I can swim up even faster currents. Yeah, those kinds of currents I can now swim through. That's the power that I needed to find the um, uh, secret place. Well, not well, I knew where the secret was in that other stage in 4-2, uh, but I didn't have this power to be able to do that, so now I can go back uh, a little bit later and do so. So when... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Gotta be Mo. Gotta be Mo. He is the sniffer. I need the sniffer for the walkthrough. The sniffer is by far the most important thing. Well, I suppose you don't need the sniffer per se. Uh, it's just that, um, you know, it's really, really handy to have out. And yeah, in case you didn't realize, you can now go through the currents like this. You can't even go through these currents as Starfy when you're powered up to, uh, to Starfy's maximum. So uh, yeah, you've got some serious swimming power now and you can get pretty much anywhere with this now. So keep that in mind for secrets, okay? Okay. <laughs> and that's why you want to seek out the secrets. So that you can power yourself up. And fight the lag, because a lot of fish are in the area. <laughs> Get out of my way, Guppo. Stop it. Don't do it. Nope. There we go. Lag fix. No. Lag back. <laughs> Alright, we're done. At least with that area. I think, because there wasn't really much to see there. Uh, there's a chest to find here, though. Oh, maybe this was the stage I was thinking of, had the hidden chest uh, off to the left side with the water bubbles. Yeah, there it is! And I got all the chests. It's a part of Peeps' diary. Peeps' diary, what? We've tracked down Bunston this far, but we haven't, had, we haven't been able to catch him yet. That crazy star and that loudmouth clam are tougher than they look. But if you don't grab them soon, you're going to be in deep trouble. Real deep. Wait, what? Why would they be in trouble? Aren't they like the masters? I mean, aren't they the, like the big bad guys? And Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> How many times have I made myself dizzy trying to go through these bubbles faster than I should be trying to go through them? I don't know, but it's been a lot. It's been a lot. So, come on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> you gotta have some force when you do that. Otherwise it won't uh, shake the bubbles out of the trees. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was pressing down to get inside the bubble, and that was that's what was happening. Alright, I think this is cleared out, so let's just go in. There we go! Well, I should say go on the plunger of victory. Oh boy, that still seems sort of like a short part. Maybe what I'll do is go back over to this stage, cut forward until I get to the door, and then do the secret stage. How's that sound? Okay. Okay. Oh, I finally took a hit from a grip it. <laughs> Alright, here we are. 
Now that we have the powers that be to fight the current, to fight the power, we can go through this to get in. Oh shoot! Get inside that door, which leads to a mini game with Mo. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? I just heard a mysterious story about this place. Get this. A zombies somehow suck energy from one another until they make a zombie leader. I think it's about time we find out the, we found out the secret to this zombie leader, don't you? What do you say? Let's do it. All right, so we gotta make ourselves a zombie leader, okay? See, they're all scattered out there. And yeah, you can't. You can only take up to. Uh, five hits here. By the way, that, that sparkly spot is where the uh, door will appear to leave the stage once I finish. Because, uh, you know, I had to come to this stage again. Alright, so... You just gotta uh, sort of wait this out here. You're just gonna have a good time. And actually, wait, don't I have to kill... You have to, oh yeah, you have to knock him out a little bit here. Gotta kind of... Yeah. Eventually, they'll come combine into Zombiezilla. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oop. Oh. oh. There we go, that's how it's done. Gotta get one angry enough at you. Need more. Need more. There you go. Eat it. Eat it. The parody of Beat It. Uh, I don't... <laughs> um, need more. Come on, time's running out. Get... Stop it. Eat it. There we go. Kill it quickly before time runs out. Mm. I have plenty of time to do it. Yes, yes, yeah! Dizzy spin finish. <laughs> you solved the zombie mystery. Great work, Stoff. What? You want a reward? Well, all right. You sure are back to your old self pretty quickly. There you go. Secret one has been added to the map. And that's exactly where I'm going to go very shortly. There we go. Now that I, since I already beat the stage, you'll see that there's the uh, plunger here to leave the area. Which normally isn't here if you were just going through the stage for the first time. But since I had to come back, and there we go. Alright, now let's play 4-5. Secret 1. To finish off the parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, how many chests are in here? I forgot. This area is covered in fog. We have to use these glowing mushrooms. But if they drop, we have to find more. Maybe Starlink and Opal Cells by myself is fine. Yeah, what? How many chests were in here? I forgot. Back to the map, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, two chests left, I just wanted to check that, just so I know what exactly I'm looking for here. So, okay, two chests. Alright, let's get through this stage, let's zoom through it. These secret stages always pretty short, short but sweet, basically. Um, wait, what's, what's up there? I want to go up there first. Because it, it looks like that's the path forward, and this is going to lead me to... Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This actually is... Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, wait. Oh, no, no, that's... Hmm. Okay, it's... It's gotta be a... Grab mushroom and then come back to that route to move forward sort of thing. Right? That's what I'm guessing? Uh, nope, that's not correct. I thought the mushroom was at the lower area. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to water hop. Not really a big deal. I would have explored that uh, bottom area either way. Right. Ah, there it is. Mushy, mush, mush. And if you were Starly, you could just go through there immediately. But alas, we are Starfy, so we must backtrack through the danger. I think uh, Starly actually gets the easier routes, in all honesty. So I don't, I don't really think she's as, as much of an expert as uh, Mo is portraying her as. <laughs> it's just that she can get, and she just has an easier time in stages because she's got the easier routes that she can take. You know, either wall kicking or um, just avoiding enemies in general. Uh, because she can just spin right through stuff and whatnot. Yeah. Anyway, don't lose the mushroom. That would be unfortunate because I'll have to go back down to get another one. That would suck very much so. Well, actually, I wouldn't have to go back down. I'd have to jump back down to that current. Uh, I think. I, I don't think it'll dissolve in the water. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm, dang it. Mm, that's going to respawn the hop a lop. Mm. Alright, take your time, PK Gam. Just spin from one platform to the other. There we go. 
That's why you need the mushroom all the way here, because you can't get through the door with that fungus among us. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Mo Sniffer. I was wondering when that was going to happen again. Seems to be to have been a while. Oh, 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 must, oh, no, dang it. Yeah! Go, 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 go. Treasure chests. Yes. Ooh, Ooh my camera's running out of batteries. So I'm going to have to uh, uh, end off my recording session here. I did the whole World 4 um, in one recording session, by the way. Staffy has been... Uh, oh, this is Bunston, excuse me. Safi has been a great help to me. I don't know what I would do without him and Mo. I'm getting quite worried, though. I have this feeling that something bad is happening, but I can't remember what it is. Hmm. Well, you can't remember what a lot of things are. <laughs> Let's just be honest here, Bunston. Alright, but yeah, I've, I've recorded all of World 4 all in uh, one session here. So, yeah, it's been uh, quite the recording day here. <laughs> Can I get five parts out of this, I think, after I do the editing and whatnot. It just takes a while to edit and stuff like that, and I don't want to overpace videos by uploading them all at once, of course. That's uh, pretty overwhelming to some people. Uh, I think falling down there will lead me backwards, so I'm not going to do that. Because I've done that before, and it disappointed me because I had to go around the edges uh, to get back up there again. Nope! Oh, I always miss time that I don't forget it. Another chest. Let's get just get the chest and forget about the red malicious. Um, wait, what's pearls? Uh, I think we're coming to the end of this stage. Actually, this is looking like we're very, very close. If I remember correctly, that's kind of an odd pearl formation there. There's like three, one, three, but the one big pearl is in the center. Yeah, well, what am I describing it to you for? You, you've seen it. <laughs> it's on camera. At least I hope it is. This recording better work. <laughs> Where is that chest? Well, Mo hasn't really been going crazy, so I assume I haven't gone. I mean, I haven't reached a spot where his sniffer really sniffs out and gets him all excited. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I gotta do one of these things to the leaf. Keep jumping on the leaf so the leaf that flips you off doesn't flip you off. They're very rude leaves like that. Heart jam! And with that, I get a new heart container! Woo! And my life's refilled. Back to Mo, of course. Alright. And yeah, I made it to the water. And we're done here. Yeah. Woo! Looks like uh, World 4 is entirely complete. I think I can just actually press B to get back to the world map. Yep. Cleared. Yeah. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. As I said, batteries are running kind of low. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part.